Right now, a Lakewood mother searching for answers. Two suspects still on the run. It's been a year since her pregnant daughter was killed in an ambush in front of her home. Yeah, Fox 31's Jim Hooley is live at Lakewood Police Headquarters. Can't even imagine what this mother is going through, and we're hearing from her now, Jim. Tough times. Uh, and this woman was pregnant with twins, by the way, 22-year-old woman pregnant with twins. I mean, this is such a tragic story all the way around. Five people have been arrested already, Kirk. There are two more people out there right now on the run as of this morning. And police and the mother of this young woman desperately wants to find the, these two people this morning. Here's the very latest that we have on the investigation from Lakewood Police. They say Katatcha Brown's 22-year-old daughter, Melanie, was killed right in front of her very own home. It happened just a year ago. We said February 28th of last year. The ambush happened in the 1300 block of Zephyr Street here in Lakewood. Seven suspects out there all together, and Brown says she thought they were all her daughter's friends. I fed these children that grew up. My daughter housed one of them that was homeless, and they all the while they were plotting to ambush my pregnant daughter. Now, these are the two people still on the run as of this morning. As we said, five suspects have already been arrested, seven people altogether. Katasha Brown believes that the, the murder may have been something that stemmed from a Facebook dispute where the suspects threatened her daughter. It's hard to believe that something from Facebook would actually lead to a murder, but obviously things like that do happen in this day and age. A young woman, 22 years old, pregnant with twins, ambushed in front of her very own home. If you have any information about those two people that they are still looking for, any information at all about this tragedy, please contact police here in Lakewood. At headquarters, I'm Jim Hooley, Fox 31. All right. Thank you, Jim.